Moving on, let's move to the Army Black Knights. Jeff Munkin, another one of them guys. Yeah, another he, one. Of them he, he really has been the model of consistency. Oh yes, at the military academy. I'm I'm kind of surprised he's still there. Uh, nine and three last year. Now, obviously, the schedule a little more uh, simple last mm-hmm. year. They they played several FCS teams and whatnot. Uh, they were five and eight in 2018. That was or 2019. Excuse me. That was the down year. Yep. Um, Returning production for them doesn't matter. They are dead set right in the middle, number 65. Their win total is at 8, plus 110 for the over, minus 140 for the under. Uh, so Vegas and the sports books expect them to go 7 more than they go 9, and I could see that. I could totally see that. Projected records, SP Plus has got them 7-5, and five. FPI has got them 6-6, six and six, and yet the win total sits at 8. Um, I, I look at this schedule. And I see some teams here that can be explosive, that can put up points on this defense. Uh, this, you know, 2020 was supposed to be Army's young season, and they the schedule, being what it was, enabled them to go 9-3. and three. That's right. Uh, the defense has kind of surged under Nate Woody, their uh, new defense coordinator. Um, they returned 13 players that played 150-plus snaps. That is pretty good. It's a lot. Offense was 96th in SP Plus last year uh, as far as efficiency goes. Should get better with a little more experience, but uh, it's a tough road schedule, man. This is, you know, at Georgia State, at Ball State, at Wisconsin, at Liberty. I mean, that's four right there that I think that they're going to lose. Uh, then you've also got Western Kentucky, Miami of Ohio, Wake Forest. You know, there's and the Navy at the end and of then, the I was about to say, and then you've got the Navy Air Force games. I, uh, I, I love when Army is really good. I do too. But I think it is more likely that they win seven games as opposed to eight or nine this year. I'm with you. I, yeah, I'm I, going under. If it was seven and not seven and a half, you could convince me to go over. Yeah. Because do I think they could win one of these coin flip games? I mean, the, the triple option gives people fits. They're able to to go in and beat teams that most sometimes, you know, you shouldn't beat them. Yeah. And I really want to go over. Eight's tough. Eight is tough. You go. You're doing under. No, I'm going to go over. You're going to go, go over. over. I think. I think they'll upset a couple of these teams. Like I think <laughs> you, Miami, you Ohio, is better than them. You talked yourself off the ledge. Yeah. Right here, live in the middle yeah. of the show. I love it. No. I love it. Okay. I can get down with this. I think they get back to beating Navy. I'm still sticking to under eight though. Okay. Because I think I think the ceiling is is eight wins, and I think it's much more likely that they lose. An extra win as opposed to winning one of those other ones. So, but I could, I, you never know. I could be, I could God, be crazy. You're right. I do think the seal is eight wins. <laughs> I do think the seal is eight wins, but I don't want to go under. I think the number's eight. All right. So, so are you going? No, I'm staying with them. I'm staying with pick. Let's move on. Damn. <laughs> All right. Let's I don't like the numbers, what I want. <laughs> I want the number to change. I don't think the number's right. The problem is, I think the number is exactly right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, let's, uh, thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.